Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we'll have a look at some of the most impressive weight loss stories which we have come across on the show. Maybe these stories could motivate you. Do you want to win the new iPhone 11 Pro? If so, be sure to watch the whole video, leave a like and comment the hidden message. And with that being said, let's get right back into the video. Number 5. Joe Wexler Ignore me completely. I asked myself, why doesn't this man want to pay attention to me? So I hate to deal with my feelings. Joe Wexler has been a regular to the show, and adept fans are used to seeing his face. Joe now looks much better than he used to, but how was he able to achieve one of the most impressive weight loss stories on the show? Without any surprises, when Joe showed up on the show, he weighed very close to 800 pounds. Actually, was 777 pounds. Joe suffered from depression and sought the easy way out with food. He fed himself with 10,000 calories per day. It was long before he even started to consider killing himself. Even after meeting with Dr. Now on his first episode on the show, things got worse as Joe had only managed to gain an extra 15 points in a single month. Yikes! Reality dawned on Joe when his weight started to affect his mobility. It became crystal clear that something needed to change about him. He cut down on a few things and his weight started to drop slowly. During his next weight check, he lost 71 pounds. Joe got even better when he decided to see a therapist help with his condition and he soon dropped weight to 652 pounds. At this weight, he could go into surgery with Dr. Now. Things kept getting better and he finally managed to lose 500 pounds in total. Joe Wexler even met a woman named Sarah and the couple got married in 2016. Now, all seems to be better for Joe and he's looking to learn a lot of things while creating a brighter future for himself and his loved ones. Number 4. Amber Rushdie Food, it's a comfort, and it's helping me avoid reality. I have a lot of anxiety and I don't like it, and I am at peace while I eat. Amber's transformation is what a lot of people were referred to as jaw-dropping, because of the extent of which she managed to change her fortunes. Amber was 23 when she first appeared on the show, and she weighed an unreliable 657 pounds. She wasn't happy with her figure, and even once described herself as a nasty, yucky monster. Her legs were put under a lot of pressure by her weight, and she found it hard to stand for more than 30 minutes. However, she managed to lose 20 pounds, which made her eligible for gastric bypass surgery with Dr. Now. This did a lot of good for her, as she ended up losing a total of 377 pounds in a year. Amber didn't decide to stop there, and even took things further. She has now lost over 400 pounds and stayed in shape. She kept track of her journey by posting pictures on Instagram and Facebook. According to a statement on her social media page, I spent a long time not liking me, so I'm documenting moments I feel pretty. It's really a remarkable story which helped Amber on all fronts. At one time during the show, Amber confessed that her excessive weight had always disturbed her intimacy with her then boyfriend. Now, there's really a lot for her to celebrate and enjoy. She got engaged in 2016 and has since been married. Number 3. Melissa D. Morris Alana, come get this bag out of the floor. It has been 10 years since my weight loss surgery and life is so different now. Melissa was one of the pioneer appearances on the My 106 Pound Life show. She was one of the first to be profiled on the show and her journey to shed excessive weight started a decade ago. That's a really long time. When we first met Melissa on the show, she was weighing in at 657 pounds. Her mobility was greatly affected and was forced to ride on a scooter. It got so bad that she had to write to even get simple tasks done like shopping. 
Well, she persevered and was ready to drop all that weight. After her surgery with Dr. Now, Melissa managed to reduce her weight by a stunning 137 pounds. Her weight loss story even gets better. She was finally able to get pregnant after being able to conceive for 12 years. Melissa gave birth to three children over the years. She may have struggled with keeping her weight in check because of the pregnancies, but Melissa is still considerably better than where she started from. According to her statement to TLC in 2017, she doesn't want the excess weight anymore. She said, I weigh myself every single day. I am so fearful of gaining all my weight back, especially because it was so easy for me to gain weight while pregnant. Now she's all about her children and encourages others to begin their weight loss journey. Number 2. Christina Phillips I think it's only fluid because I did good once I got back. It's not water. For that, you have to drink at least 300 gallons of water. At just a young age of 22, Christina already weighed 673 pounds. She decided to pay a visit to doctor now. Christina has self-esteem issues and was ashamed of her figure. She was so embarrassed that she left home only at 3 a.m to avoid too many people from seeing her. Things were actually as bad as they could get her for. During her statement with Women's Health, she said getting up and walking just a few feet made me feel like I was going to die. I couldn't drive or walk far or go out with friends and family. I was miserable and knew I had to do something. Yes, she had to do something and the show was her way out. After her surgery with Dr. Now, her transformation was quite drastic. She lost so much weight that she was medically advised to gain an extra 15 pounds to stay healthy. By 2017, she weighed a mere 171 pounds. During this period, she told Women's Health, My life has changed so much since the weight loss. I can do things I never imagined possible. I've been able to try indoor skydiving and I can walk miles without getting tired. This was really a lot of improvement from her, and everyone was happy to see just how far she had come. Number 1. Paula Jones It's like going through the walk of shame. I feel judged by the outside world. Well, this story has an emotional side to it, and Paula's journey was really special. Unlike other people who came on the show, Paula's motivation was the death of her husband. He had died from weight-related complications after weighing in at over 600 pounds. A year after he died, Paula realized that she was now 542 pounds. She worried that she would suffer a similar weight complication and end up leaving her four children alone. Paula Jones decided that she could change her fortune and visited Dr. Now. She was really committed to reducing her excess weight and even moved her family down to Texas when she was about to have her surgery. Well, after the surgery, there was no turning back and things only got better. She was able to lose 400 pounds in total. After Paula has managed to lose some weight, she was now about to look after her children better. These improved the relationships between mother and children. There's really nothing more which she could have asked for. On her relationship with her children, she told Women's Word, I can be more active with them. I've learned how to be emotionally healthy as well as physically healthy. A simple reminder on how to enter our brand new giveaway. We'll be giving away the brand new iPhone 11 Pro, so be sure to leave a like, comment the keyword, subscribe, and turn on notifications to enter the giveaway. It's really that simple. Go for it. Well guys, that's it for this video. We hope you enjoyed. See you in the next video.